friends, this is Mike Find Oliver, and this is my video submission for my high certificates in exercise science. Now I'm going to take my client's resting values. We're going to start off with blood pressure. So you take the cup and place it over the brachial artery, like that. Mm -hmm. Increase the pressure. Then you start releasing the pressure slowly. So systolic blood pressure is just under 120. Okay, now I'm going to take my client's heart rate. So you place two fingers on the wrist below the thumb and we're going to do 10 seconds and multiply that by 6. Now we're going to take my client's height, so you can stand up straight and take the shoes off. Okay, you can go around. Okay, you can hold it there. Now we're going to take my client's weight, so you're going to step onto the scale. Now we're going to test my client's waist to hip ratio. So if you can lift your shirt up. Okay, 74. 74 are his, uh, is his waist. And you can place this. And then you place it over your the largest. So my client's waist ratio was 0 0.76 and males shouldn't have a ratio higher than 0 0.95, so he is normal. I took my client's body fat percentage. We're going to use the three skin fold measurements using this skin fold caliper. Uh, we're doing his tricep, super ilium and thigh. So for the tricep, can you stand up and face this way? Then your arm is nice to be so you're gonna pinch and click release. Okay, can you lift the shirt for me? You're gonna pinch here. And your thigh. So now we're going to test my client's posture. So his earlobes should be level, shoulders level, and hips level. 
Um, his earlobes are level. His shoulders are somewhat level. His left front does stand a bit higher than his right front. And his hips are level. Now can you turn to your side front, please? So here his earlobes should be level with his eyes and have and he should have an S shape of a spine. Okay, so his earlobes are in level are level with his eyes and he has an S curve to his spine. Okay, now we're gonna do a flexibility test and my client's going to do the sit and reach test. So I'm gonna place the ruler here. That's where it starts, and he's gonna reach as far as he can. Okay. Thirty-seven point five. I'm gonna test my client's muscular strength with the push-up test. So he's gonna do as many push-ups as he can in sixty seconds. Now I'm gonna demonstrate a push-up to you. Okay. So you want your arms shoulder width apart, fingers spread out wide. And you're going to keep your elbows close to your side, not flaring out. Bring them out, get set, go. <laughs> client's going to complete his cardiovascular endurance test so we're going to do the step test and he's going to step for 30 for three minutes um one one two two and then i'm going to take his uh, recovery heart rate and calculate his vo2 max okay on your marks get set go times it by four. Now I'm going to demonstrate some exercises to you. We're going to start off with a compound exercise. The, the push up. So for the push up, uh, you want your arms sh shoulder width apart, fingers spread out wide, and you're going to lower your body, keeping your elbows tucked in, avoiding chicken wings, and chest close to the ground. If you struggle with doing a push up, you can do an easier variation on your knees. Um, similar concept, shoulders shoulder width apart and going down like this. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate an upper body exercise, uh, the pull up. So you want your arms shoulder width apart, you're going to hang, engage your back. And pull up so your chin is over the bar. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to demonstrate a lower body exercise. 
the jumping squat. You're gonna put your legs hip width apart, point your toes a little bit outwards, squat, and as you come up, explosive jump. Exercise, uh, toe touches, so you're going to line your back, ground, push your belly button into the ground, and just touch your toes. Okay. I'm going to demonstrate a cardiovascular exercise, um, the jumping jack. So you're going to jump, extend your arms and legs, and then close your arms and legs. This increases your heart rate, therefore being a cardiovascular exercise. So for my client's PNF stretch, we're going to do a hamstring, hamstring stretch. So you're going to lie on the floor and I'm going to grab his leg and you're going to keep it straight and I'm going to pull it back until he says stop, there's a good stretch. I'm going to hold it for three seconds and then repeat on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm.